Hi there, it's Melanie Fokes Mayers, Managing Director of Eden Mays HR Consulting. HR Consulting for small businesses and entrepreneurs to keep you out of trouble. So, today is Thursday, which means it's blog day. Um, and today I want to talk to you about people plans. So, um, as usual, um, there'll be a link below that will give you the word version, so my blog as opposed to this vlog, so you can read at your leisure as well as uh, listen to me here. Um, so, people plans. Um, a lot of the time when you start a business or you're looking to start a business, you get lots of support from people talking to you about your business plan, your budget, your projections, uh, your ideal customer, your sales conversions, all of that great stuff, which is definitely valid and what you need. Um, and it works absolutely fine as long as you are a, well, as I call, a lone ranger. So if you are doing it all yourself, that works perfectly, you've got all of those things, they're all written down, they're all in your head, you know what you're doing, and that's fine. But once your business starts growing and developing, you always need um, either partners or contractors or employees, you'll need someone to work alongside you, you need someone to deliver some stuff for you, um, otherwise, you know, you kind of reach critical mass because there's only so much one person can do, you can only stretch yourself so thin. Um, so, alongside having a business plan, uh, you need to have a people plan. Um, and the reason for having a people plan is because it is a way of ensuring the golden thread that runs through your business plan runs through your people element of it. Because after all, your people deliver your product. So, um, in order to make sure that you're working towards a common goal, but also that you're not missing something vital, it's really important that you have a people plan. Now, I'm going to give you an example. Um, way back when, when I started working in HR, um, I had a role and one of the things that I was asked to do was helping the company I worked for at the time achieve the Investors in People accreditation. So Investors in People, if you don't know, is an accreditation that is given to employers who show exemplary um, people management. So it's about how they communicate, how they do appraisals, how they you know, make sure their staff are motivated, all of that great stuff. So really great that they wanted to do it. And our managing director was really hot on it. So I created a framework. I got all the processes and policies in place that we needed to have. I tightened up all the, all the contracts. I did all of that great stuff. And we ran it through, we trained the managers and we got the accreditation and it was great, yay. Um, but then, less than a year later, uh, managing director left, we had a new MD, um, and so as I was going around the second round of it, and I was pushing, okay, you need to do your appraisals now, you need to be doing this training, um, have you looked at your development of your staff? Um, basically, managers weren't getting back to me, so I you know, went to the MD and said, I'm not really getting much traction on this, I need your support basically was told well that's not our focus right now right now we need to focus on getting more sales not really bothered about any of that kind of stuff let's focus on getting more sales getting more people doing um going out there and getting more people into the business um, and we'll think about it later so needless to say i was disappointed a bit demotivated and it wasn't too long before i left but then there was a really big churn quite a lot of people left because suddenly you know the aim of being an all an amazing organisation that people want to stay in had gone and suddenly it was all about the sales and people began to be unhappy and so they left. So I say that to say you need to know where your business is going to know what you need to do from a people point of view to know how to keep your key players and how to develop them within the organisation. Um, and so whether you already employ a team or you are about to employ your first person, it's really important that you have a people plan. It's very important that you think, okay, if this is where I am now and this is where I want to be, how am I going to get there and what do I need to bring these people along with me and what do they need to be successful when we get to this end goal? So to that end, um, I just want to talk you through a few things that you need to make sure you, you include in your people plan. So just to go back a step, um, 
you have your business plan and in your business plan you have your strategy you should have your SWOT and your pest analysis so you know who your competitors are you know what um, are your positives what are your strengths you know what your weaknesses are you know what your opportunities are you know what the threats are and you know what political change could how political change could affect your organization all of that great stuff so I'm assuming that you have done all of that so once you've done all of that you have obviously you have a great idea a great understanding of your business of where you are and where you want it to be then you need to look at okay what skills do i need to be able to get my organization from where it is now to where i want it to be so um obviously there'll be some skills that you have there might be some um but there'll also be some skills that you don't have and some things that you need to look into. So you need to look at, okay, fine, what are these skills that we need to deliver? What are the different skills that I need to do? So they might be managerial, they might be sales, it might be specific, you might need a, I don't know, a Prince 2 qualification, you might be, I don't know, a mechanic, there might be some NVQ type stuff that your people need to do, you might be a hairdresser, I know there are different levels of training for hairdressing, so it might be stuff like that, I need, these are the things that I need to get to where I want to be. And then you need to look at what do I currently have? So currently, this is the skills level that my staff are at. This is the level that I am at. Um, and to that end, then you have a look at, and what you get from that is, this is where I want us to be. This is where we are. And you have what we call your skills gap. So then you need to look at, okay, these are the skills that I need to develop across this timeline. So this is my timeline since your one-year plan, your three-year plan, your five-year plan. This is what I need to make sure I have at each step. So... Um, so you need to do that, work out what your skills gap is. The other thing you need to look at is uh, succession planning. So that is basically what do I, what happens if my amazing best seller goes or what happens if my amazing assistant goes or my apprentice goes or what, what would I do? Where would I be? So if I'm sick, um, how would my work be delivered? Is there someone else who could deliver it? Um, what would happen? He would check my emails, he would ask for calls, um, all of that good stuff. So you need to think about, well, what's what's next? So there's two, like I said, two bits of succession planning. So one bit is uh, single points of failure. So if someone goes or something goes, if there's nobody who's going to deliver that, then that's a problem. So you need to work out how do I share the load? How do I share the knowledge to make sure that if one person was sick or left, my company wouldn't crumble? And then the other part of it is uh, looking at progression. So, you know, what do I have now and where would I like them to progress to and what do I need to do to help them to progress? So part of that will be that skills gap, that training, but part of that will also be what motivates them? What can I do to encourage them to work in the business? Do I, would I need to give them some shares? What would a salary look like? Which means what would I need to be bringing in, et cetera, et cetera. So you need to have a bit of a look at, at those things. Um, and then after looking at those things basically you find like your key three to five areas that you need to focus on so your focus could be you know some training and some key skills it could be um some managing of poor performance for example it could be um developing your uh management team so it could be something like that so you've got your five five or three or five key things that you can focus on because that's really all you can focus on in one in one go um and then you can develop that into an action plan with smart objectives um and a oh, little spoiler next week i will be talking to you about um objective settings so i'll be talking at okrs and smart objectives and how you set them how you measure them how you make sure they are fit for purpose um so yeah, so those are the things that you need to make sure you have included in your people plan. So then you, everybody can see, this is the business plan, this is where we are, this is where we're trying to get to, and this is how I feed into the business plan, so this is what I do and how it feeds into the business plan. And you can see, in order for us to get to this place, this is what we need to do. We need to hire new staff, we need to train staff, we need to open a new office, whatever it is, so you can see all of those things that you need to do and you can have a plan around it. So you don't get to a situation where you've progressed beautifully and you hit a brick wall because you don't have the skill sets in house 
or you've reached critical mass, you don't have enough people to deliver the work that you've sold. So that's the whole idea of having a people plan. It gives you that look of, okay, if we achieve all the great things we want to do in our business plan, actually, what do we need to do people-wise and how do we make sure we motivate, we retain our good staff, we deal with our poor performing staff um, and everybody goes home happy. So, as I said at the beginning, I will put the notes uh, the link to um, my blog below um, please do let me know um, if this is useful please do let me know how it's worked for you um, please do also contact us if you need some help with getting your business, your people plan done um, and let us know um, how it's all going so thank you and see you again soon bye